Welcome to Medical Tube, your go-to source for all things medical and health related. Today we will delve deep into the fascinating and somewhat alarming topic of Jigger's Tunga Penetrance. This tiny parasite flea burrows into human skin, causing significant discomfort and potential health issues. But before we jump into our topic, if you are new to Medical Tube, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This way, you won't miss any of our latest updates and informative content from Medical Tube. Your support helps us bring you more valuable information. Causes of Jigger Infestation Environmental Factors Jiggers thrive in sandy, dry, and dusty environments, often where hygiene and sanitation are poor. These tiny parasites find such conditions ideal for breeding and spreading, making it difficult to control their population. Lack of Footwear Walking barefoot in areas infested with jiggers significantly increases the risk of infestation. Without proper footwear, individuals are more susceptible to these parasites burrowing into their skin, leading to severe discomfort and health issues. Poor living conditions. Infestation is common in communities with limited access to clean water, proper hygiene facilities, and health care. These conditions create a perfect storm for jiggers to thrive, as the lack of resources makes it challenging to maintain cleanliness and prevent infestations. Symptoms of jigger infestation, severe itching, pain in the affected area, swelling and redness around the point of entry. In extreme cases, secondary infections can occur, leading to ulcers or even gangrene if untreated. Treatment of jigger infestation. Jigger infestations, also known as tungiesis, are caused by tiny sand fleas that burrow into the skin, often in the feet. This condition can lead to severe discomfort and complications if not treated properly. Removal of Jiggers Jiggers can be carefully removed using sterile needles or scalpels. The process requires precision and care to ensure that the entire flea is extracted without breaking it apart, which could lead to further complications. It's crucial to extract the entire flea to avoid complications. If any part of the flea is left behind, it can cause severe inflammation, secondary infections, and even more serious health issues. Professionals should perform the extraction to minimize the risk of infection. Trained healthcare providers have the necessary skills and tools to safely remove the parasites and provide appropriate aftercare. Antibiotics. After removal, antibiotic creams or oral antibiotics may be prescribed to prevent or treat secondary infections. These medications help to ensure that any bacteria introduced during the extraction process are effectively managed. Wound care. Clean the wound with antiseptics regularly. Keeping the area clean is essential to promote healing and prevent any potential infections from taking hold. Bandage the area to keep it clean and reduce the risk of further infection. Using sterile bandages helps to protect the wound from dirt and bacteria, which can be particularly important in environments where hygiene is a challenge. Footwear and Hygiene Wearing shoes can significantly reduce the risk of future infestations. Proper footwear acts as a barrier, preventing the fleas from coming into contact with the skin. Improved sanitation, regular cleaning and hygiene measures help prevent further occurrences. Ensuring that living areas are kept clean and free from debris can reduce the habitats where these fleas thrive. In cases where the infestation is severe, medical intervention is essential to avoid complications like tetanus, sepsis, or other life-threatening conditions. Early and effective treatment can make a significant difference in the outcome for the patient.